Good evening, friends, and welcome to Funfold Friday. I'm Doreen DeCebus from It Begins With Ink and Paper, and thank you for joining me tonight. I really appreciate it. Um, we are going to make a fun fold using the Very Cute Bundle. It is just adorable, so I'm really excited about being able to share that with you tonight. Um, so you can see the bundle comes with um, a photopolymer stamp set um, using these adorable um, polar bears. And it also comes with a polar bear punch. So I, I sometimes really enjoy um, our punch bundles because it's less work then getting out your your um, stamp and emboss machine to die cut things. So we're going to be using this tonight. And we are going to be using several of the stamps in this set to make a double decker card tonight. So let me show you the card. I'm going to just move this out of the way. And let me show you the card that we're going to be making tonight. So it become, it's actually a double decker Decker pop-up card. So when I open it up and set it this way, you can see that there's a little pop-up mechanism right down here, and um, it becomes a double decker card because these two images are raised, these two panels are raised. And so it's just made with a Z fold, as you can see here, but then adding in that mechanism so we can pop it up when you open it. And when it goes flat, it looks just like this. So it's a fun card. So let's get started. I'm going to start by giving you the dimensionals, but don't worry, as we I always do, I am going to post the, dimension, um, the cardstock dimensions in the... Um, comments after the live broadcast so you can look for that. So let's start with what you need for the Pretty and Peacock. So I've got a piece of Pretty Pe and Peacock, um, Pretty Peacock that measures eight and a half by five and a half. And then I have some other pieces. I have one that measures um, three by four and a half, then another one that measures three by four, and then an uh, even um, smaller one that measures two and a quarter by three. So that's what you need for Pretty Peacock or whatever color you decide to use for cardstock that matches your designer series paper. We are going to need some um, basic white cardstock as well. So we're going to need a piece that's one and seven eighths inches by five and a quarter inches. And we're going to need, this is my uh, scrap to stamp on, we're going to need a piece that measures um, two and a quarter by three and three quarter. No, I think I took, let me see which one, I think I grabbed the wrong one. This is the two and a quarter by three and one quarter. And then we're going to need a piece that is three and one eighths by four and one eighth. And let me see if there's anything else we need. Oh, this piece is, for, is one and three quarters by three. We're going to be making a snow bank with that. And then you're going to need some designer series paper. And for this particular card, you're only going to need a piece that measures one and seven eighths by five and a quarter and a piece that measures four inches by five and a quarter. I chose the paper from the Sweet that includes the very cute bundle and on one side it's balmy blue with um, some different snowflake designs on it very pretty and on the other side it has these pretty peacock trees um, on the berry the balmy blue background with some white trees on top of it so I just thought it would coordinate really well so let's do some stamping first and we can get everything. Let me just match some different things up. We're going to score that and we're going to score this. So let's get the scoring set aside. And we have this piece is going underneath this one. And this one is going on that one. 
snowbank and panel. Okay, so let's do some stamping and I'm gonna get an extra piece of basic white. You need do need some um, pieces of basic white to stamp with. So I'm gonna start by stamping my polar bear. So I am gonna stamp him. This is the only time we're using anything but um, pretty peacock. I'm gonna stamp the bear in Momentum Black. So there he is. Such a cute polar bear. And then let me just cover the Memento Black and get out the pretty peacock ink. The first thing I am going to add to our polar bear is a scarf because it's getting cold out there and he wants to keep warm. So let me just get that inked up and get this dimensional out of the way, the wrapper of it. And I'm going to stamp that along his neck. And then I'm going to use the punch and I'm going to punch this out. So thank you for joining me tonight, whether you're joining me on the live, on a replay, or on my YouTube channel. Um, please make sure you say hello in the comments so I can um, say hello back to you. Thank you for watching tonight. So there's our polar bear. He's all punched out. So I'll let you just see that for a second. And I'm going to set him aside while we do some more stamping. So, and the things that I'm going to be stamping now, I'm going to be also um, cutting out. So I've got the little hat. I'm just going to stamp him the little hat right there. Um, that's, he's going to be wearing a hat. And I am going to stamp two trees that I'm going to cut out. I'm going to stamp one right here, and then I will stamp one right here. There we go. And then there is a center to the trees. So I'm going to stamp that. I could stamp it in a different color, but I kind of feel like we're on this pretty peacock vibe. So this is a two-step stamping, and I'm just going to stamp the center of the tree right inside. Love it. I really like this set. You know, it's a little whimsical. You can get some really cute Christmas cards or winter cards out of it. There we go. And then um, I'm going to cut these out and then share with you the magic of television. I've got them already cut out and the hat as well. So I'm going to set that aside. You don't need to watch me cut out um, my images. So now I'm going to take a snowflake stamp and this is going to be my background. So I am just going to do some random stamping all along, I'm using the same color ink and just giving it a background pattern. I don't need to go all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to go pretty close because I am going to be adding a snowbank. So, but this will allow me if I, you know, think that I need something else, I can add it in. And then the final, so let me set that aside, the final bit of stamping is on this piece, I'm going to be stamping my greeting. So let me add my warm wishes. Oh, shoot, I had some extra ink on there. Good thing there's two pieces to a side of paper. Let's try that again. Much better. And then what I'm going to add, I'm going to use the snowflake stamp. 
and I'm just going to add a couple of snowflakes um, on the inside of the card. So that's all the stamping that we're going to do tonight. So let's start putting this together. So I'm going to start with my card base. I'm going to put aside everything that I've done the stamping on. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to need these pieces when I start making my card base. So we'll put everything that we stamped over to the side. And we're going to start with our We're going to start with our scoring. So I'm going to take my scoreboard out. Anytime you're making a Z fold card, you are going to want to stamp at two and one eighth. Sorry about that, I dropped my stylus. Um, you're going to want to score at um, two and one eighth, and you are also going to want to score at four and a quarter. So I'm going to start with my four and a quarter, and then I'm going to score at my two and one eighth. So that is all set. That's all I need for the card base. But for my little measure, my little mechanism that I'm going to be putting inside the card to add that pop-up feature, I am going to score that at three quarters of an inch. I'm going to score it, I'm just referring to my notes so I don't make a mistake, um, one and a half inches and two and a quarter inches. There we go. That's all the scoring that we need for tonight. Okay. So, let's start doing some burnishing. Let me just see where I put my bone folder. It's right here. So, I'm going to... Um, give my card base a good bur burnish right at the four and a quarter. This piece, because remember I said we're making something very similar to a Z fold card. Um, we're using definitely that template that you would use when you're making a Z fold card. You can see that Z there. And then what I'm going to do, and tonight I'm going to do something I usually don't do. I'm going to be using liquid glue and dimensionals for my adhesive because I'm going to want to move some things around. So I'm going to open this up here on my workspace. And I'm going to be adding all the different pieces. So this piece is going here. This one is going here. And this one is going to go here. And by using liquid glue, if I need to, if I need to move it around before it sets, I can do that easily. But I want to be very careful that I am not using a tremendous amount of glue. It does not take a lot of glue um, in a greeting card to hold paper to paper. So glue does that really nicely. My favorite adhesive is certainly is most, I would say most likely the stamp and seal, but I do like to use glues that are the um, best for the project I'm doing. And I don't want to just keep going back and forth from the different glues, the different adhesives tonight. So I'm just going to stick with the liquid glue. You just want to hold it down for a brief second or two to make sure it's adhering. So now let me just move my stamps out of the way. I haven't cleaned them yet and I don't want to get any ink on the front of the card. And so now I'm going to put my third piece of designer series paper down. So I just squeeze very lightly and just wiggle the glue around. For the mechanism piece, the 
um, liquid glue works really well because you do have to get it set where you want it to be. So there's the inside and the front of our card all set to go. So now let's work on that mechanism. I, cause I wanna give it time to dry. So I'm gonna fold this in half to start. And then I'm gonna fold each side inward. And then I'm gonna fold it so the flaps are right here. And you want your flaps, you don't really want your flaps to over, overlap at all. If they do, it's gonna add some bulk to the card. You can still fix it and use your bone folder to straighten it out, but it will add just a little bit more bulk to the card. So I'm just gonna, on both of these pieces, these little flaps, I am gonna add some adhesive. And I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna use my crease right here on the back and I'm going to be matching it up to the crease on the inside of the card. I want this to be as close to center as I can have it but I have to tell you it is not going to make a big difference if it is not perfectly centered on the card. Um, it's still and I can see this isn't perfectly centered. I'm going to press that glue down and then I'm going to close it and you can see by it not overlapping it closes really nicely and you can see now that we have our mechanism inside um, our card and this is what it looks like on the outside. So a great little way to make up a pop, make a pop up. Okay let's work on our different layers now. So I am going to start with my inside layer and all I need to do is put a little bit of glue on it and since I turn this over I just want to make sure there's no edge um, based on my paper cutter. Um, sometimes the back layer will have a little bit of an edge and I'm just going to put my glue on the back side. Let's get some out. There we go. Squishing it around. Like I said, it doesn't take much. And I am going to center this right on my piece of cardstock. And again, this is where um, the glue is your friend because you can adjust it without any problems. So there's that piece. We're going to add it to our inside in just a minute. Now I'm going to create a snow bank with this smaller piece of paper. It's the one that measured, I think, one and three quarters by three inches. And I want to have that rough side of the paper when I tear it on the top. So I'm going to pull or tear the tape um, towards me. So... I'm, I want it to be not the same um, height. I want it to look like it might be a snowbank. And I can also take my fingernails, or just my finger even, and I can have this come over a little bit so it gives a little bit of an edge um, with that folded piece. Let me get it so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. Um, maybe not. But I've just, I've just pulled it over so there's just a little bit of an edge. This is going to go on the bottom piece of this pretty peacock paper. So I don't want to put glue on the whole thing because I want to tuck a tree in. So I'm going to put some glue right along the edge and along the bottom. And that should give me enough to hold it in place and still allow me to um, tuck a tree under it. So I'm just going to fit this over it. Again, you have that advantage to moving it. There we go. So that is all down. And 
I am also going to adhere this. I got a little mosquito. I'm going to adhere this to this white layer of cardstock. And you'll see why in just a minute that that is going to be important to have on. It's going to help us see the layer clearly over our pretty peacock. So this is just a sixteenth of an inch difference. And again, the sixteenth of an inch makes using liquid glue really handy because you can adjust it as you move along. Okay, let's get our stamped and cut images. So I just cut these out with my scissors. Nothing fancy. And so I want to make a pretty cool dude polar bear so I could have his hat sit really high but I'm going to have it kind of sit kind of low kind of like a middle school polar bear and not have much of his eye show much of his eye show oops let me just show. oops sorry oops, let me just get my volume Volume. All the way down. I just went to... Um, so, hi, Janice. Thanks for joining me. I'm trying to look at comments. I'm trying to be better about that. So, I've got my iPad in here tonight that I'm watching. So, I just put a tad bit of glue on it. And I'm going to bring the hat down low. Like I said, we're making kind of a middle schooler polar bear. Um kind of like a cool dude. So there's what he looks like with his hat down low. And he's going to go on the front of the card. But what I want to do, I'm going to take one tree and I'm going to put glue over the whole part of it. And I'm going to slip it under the snowbank. There we go. And the other tree is going to go on top of the snowbank. So it's going to go a little lower, but be on top of the snowbank. Oh, so cute. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals to pop our cool dude polar bear. Give him some dimension. Give him a little height. There. I don't want to get him squished. So I am putting some extra dimensionals in there. There we go. And we're going to have him walking right in front of those trees. Okay, so let's start putting this together and then we'll add some bling to finish it off. Um, so I am going to put my adhesive right on this top flap of the um, pop-up mechanism. And I'm just going to put it right here. It will get, doesn't matter um, like I said before, if this is ac absolutely centered, because what we're actually going to be centering is this piece. So what I want to do is put this on. I want to make sure I'm not going over the edge onto the next part. But what I'm going to do while I am, I'm going to make sure that this is centered on my piece of designer series paper. And I'm just going to push this down right now just to let it adhere, hold it there for a minute or two to let the glue um, take. And you can see when I open it and close it. And I did that one first because I want this piece to be centered over 
my bottom piece. So that's with the white piece, it shows up really nicely. So I'm only going to be putting glue on this part of my cardstock. And as I put this down, I can use my adhesive, the, the liquid glue before it sets, and make sure I have the card right where I like it to be. So there we go. Just going to press it down and it opens up like this. I can open it up further or I can close it. It is thick over here with that extra um, pop-up piece and with the um, the layering of the cardstock. So you might find that it needs some extra postage if you mail this one. So I am going to use the adhesive back glitter sequins. Um, I have several choices here and I think I'm going to experiment a little bit. I only used the um, silver ones on this, but I think I wanna use a combination of the silver and the blue to go with that background paper. So I'm going to start by taking, let's see, we'll start with a large one here, put it on the snow, and then I'm going to take a couple of snowflakes and add the smaller ones inside. So I think I'll do those two. So there we have three. As I've said in other presentations, I always try to do triangles. And now I'm gonna take the blue, I think this will look great, and I'm going to put the large one right up here. And then I'm gonna take two smaller ones and put down here. So we'll have six all together. I think I like that a little better then oh, I love this card. I think I like that a little better than just having these silver ones. What do you think of the combination of the blue and the um, silver or just the silver? I didn't put any silver on the blue on this one. I just put it all over the front. Um, but I think I really like this and having it in the different places. So this is it. This is our fun fold for um, this week. It is again called a double decker pop-up card. So we've got the, we can call this the double decker on this part and the pop-up right in here. And um, it is also, and it's made from a Z fold card. So we use the Z fold to do that. I hope you've enjoyed tonight's presentation and card. Um, we will be working on this month, um, Christmas and Thanksgiving. Tonight, I thought, warm wishes. This could be a winter wish. It could be a Christmas card. It could be um, a just a warm wishes card. So it has lots of different um, uses um, with this cute little polar bear. On Sunday night, I'm going to be starting Simply Stamping Sunday with this stamp set but not the punch because in Simply Stamping Sunday I only use um, ink, paper, and um, stamps. So we'll be I'll be showing you some great ideas and some great things you can do with paper um, during the month of November. And starting on Tuesday night I am going to be starting a new series for the month of November. It will happen on each Tuesday of the night of the month, starting on the 7th at 7 p.m. And I am going to be doing um, a series called Christmas Made Easy. And I'm going to be showing you some tricks um, to make the holiday planning a lot um, easier and um, how you can use some shortcuts to make some great cards, some um, wonderful um, tags and gift boxes and treat holders. So be joining me Tuesday nights at seven o'clock for that. So that's it for tonight. I hope to see you um, Sunday for Simply Stamping Sunday. 
Tuesday for Christmas Made Easy, and of course, next Friday for another edition of Funfold Friday. Thank you again for supporting me by watching my video tonight. Um, have a great weekend um, here in the Northeast. It's supposed to be beautiful, cool, but beautiful, and I will see you Sunday night. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.